Hello guys, today we will add some effects to the Niagara system we created in the previous video. Yeah, we can see in the level this projection like rectangles. Yeah, makes the entire effect look more futuristic. Okay, let's start it. To make these rectangles, we need another static mesh cylinder one. Yeah, a cylinder with fewer radial slices. And this is UV in UE file to modify its UV like this. Maybe not very easy, so you can download this static mesh for free on my Patreon. Okay, now let's create the material. First is still these things translucent and lit and enable to set it. And then we need a pixel noise texture. Yeah, I guess everyone knows how to make this. Add a texture. Text card multiply by a parameter. And then floor divide this parameter. Oh yes, we also need a panel. Okay, this parameter we set it to 10 because we want the pixel noise texture aligned with the cylinder's UV. We can see these rectangles have 10 rows and columns, so the parameter is 10. Okay, and then let's add dynamic parameter. Prime 1 is UV's offsite, so let's rename it to random. Oh yes, in the last video, we mentioned that particle random value could be used to replace the prime 1. So as you want. And then prime 2 is noise power. We also cite panel speed in weight 0.2. And then, like the last material, we subtract particle color's alpha channel. Of course, add 1 minus. Okay, now let's create a mask shape. Here we use box mask 2D. The others like the sphere mask. Text card multiply turn and frag is A. B is also 0.5. Bond we can set it to 0.8. Edge for off, yeah, is 1. And also we need a 1 minus because we want edge is bright. Then add a lerp, B is 2, A is 0 0.1. That's what we want. Multiplied by the noise texture and add a depth fade. Okay, that's it, the material's opacity. Now let's add an emissive color. Here we use another texture. We search UV editor. Yes, we use this one. UV editor color grade. But we need to note one thing that this texture is 8 rows and clones. So we need scale UV styling to 1.25 yeah now it's 10 rows and then we add a panel if we set its speed directly we can find that its movement is different from the pixel movement we want we need to make it move forward one grade at a time so here we need to modify time as well Add a time and flow it. Connect it to Hannah's time. 
Yes, this is right moment style. One grid. We can also control time speed. Multiply two. Yeah, it's faster. Okay, now we will find another problem. The distance of the texture of sight seems to have some errors. This is because we scaled UV and then its speed also need to be scaled. So we also need to set speed here to 0.125 or 0.25 as a multiple. Okay, that's right. Multiplied by a particle color. And this is our emissive color. Okay, that's the material. Now let's create the Niagara system. Add an emitter, rename it to tag. Emitter state self once. Loop duration is 0 0.2. Then add spawn rate 1000. Oh, yes, here we need a mesh render. Cylinder 1 and the material. Okay, in particle spawn, initial particle lifetime is random. 1 to 2. And color, we can copy this color. Yes. Mesh mode is also random uniform. 3 to 8. Then add dynamic material parameters. Random is 0 to 1. Power is 1 to 3. Also add shape location is cylinder. Cylinder height is 1000. Radius is 0. This time we set offset mode to default. The axis is 500. We also need an initial mesh orientation. Rotation is only the axis 0 to 1. Yeah, we can copy this emitter's rotation site. They are seen. But rotation rate, it should be faster. So is 1. Okay, in preview, we can see it's incomplete rectangle because the UV offset. It also needs to be aligned with the pixel, like a grid. So it should be 0 0.1, 0 0.2, like this. Just multiply float by int. Float is 0 0.1 and int is random 1 to 10. Yeah, that's right. Okay, let's see the effect in the level. Uh, it's too bright. We need to modify a scale alpha curve. Use the template curve and the max is 0 0.1. 6. That should be work. Yes, that's right. Now let's copy this emitter. We need another effect. Left time is 0 0.5 to 1 and mesh scale mode is 10 to 15. The others, let's see, shape location, height is 100, and offset is also 100. Okay, that's it. Uh, it looks strange, so let's modify spawn rate, 500, and color, scale alpha, the max value should be 0.4. Yeah, maybe the lifetime should be longer. 
let's modify left time to to four. Yeah, it looks great. Okay, that's all for this video. Hope you enjoyed. Bye.